We have Team 3 coverage tonight with most of the Mid-South bracing for severe weather this evening. One city in particular is holding its breath. That's because it wasn't too long ago they were cleaning up from the last storm. Yes, yeah, some of that debris still around. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us live now after talking with residents in Covington about how they're getting prepared. Steph, Greg, it was the beginning of last April when storms and tornadoes tore through Tipton County, specifically in Covington. And tonight we spoke with some people who live here, who live there, who say tonight's warnings and watches hit a little bit too close to home. It looks like somebody dropped a bomb in this area. Tipton County residents remember 13 months ago when a tornado ripped through their Covington neighborhoods, destroying everything in sight. I was scared to come out, you know, when it finally did, when it just stopped. But my neighbor come over and got me. She just walks through the windows because they were all out. Empty lots and piles of rubble standing as haunting reminders of what happened that night. Now they're preparing for the potential of it happening again. You nervous uh -huh. for tonight? Oh, yeah. When I hear a storm come up, I do now. Kind of, sort of, you know, once you go through that, it's kind of like, you know, you always on alert for it. From here on out. Parts of the Mid-South spent the evening under a tornado watch. The bulk of the storm is expected overnight. Covington Police Chief Donna Turner says she has been working with other city leaders to prepare. The EMA director has reached out and has met with us. We've met with our city officials and everybody is just on standby, but certainly we're prepared for whatever it is and we're getting it out on social media for people to just be weather aware and uh, just be safe. She says they've learned from last year and are ready for whatever tonight may bring. And people we spoke with say they're preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. It's really nothing much you can do, but just, you know, have everything ready that you think you might need and where you're going to go, you know, in, in the house and all. It's about all you can do. God is in control of it all. The same way he brought us through, he'll bring us through again. Now, as for right now, it's kind of a nice night out here, maybe a little bit humid, but as Tyler mentioned before, that is all expected to change. So make sure you stay with us on WREG and download the WREG weather app for all the latest information on what's happening up in the sky. But for now, for your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.